First case is P19, number 23549. The lesion demonstrates moderate architectural and cytologic atypia, period. The diagnosis was made in conjunction with review of the clinical photograph, period. The code is e. I've been involved in the organization for 10 years, and I've seen other people who were given the award, and I'm just truly honored and, and blown away by being able to be standing with those people. So thank you so much. Um, prevention of melanoma has been a passion of mine for 25, 30 years, and uh, this organization is really, in my mind, got the, the, the mission of education, support, and prevention. and. Um, if I can help to make a difference in all of those three areas, then I feel like a winner. I think that because melanoma is so prevalent, probably everyone knows someone with a melanoma. My best friend from college, her mom passed away from melanoma just a couple of years ago. It was an innocuous lesion on her leg. Nobody thought too much of it, and um, it grew quickly, and she passed away within a couple of years. My mom died in 2015 and she died from melanoma, so that year we attended the Shades of Hope. And having been, you know, we attended previous to that, but it just became like, you know, more personal at that point. And obviously, you know, Lisa was very involved in, during the time my mom was sick and like, you know, sharing information and, and all that and knowing to, that we had somebody that was so knowledgeable and educated and had educated others about it was, you know, like fantastic for us all. The knowledge that you gain is very important, and I think, you know, Lisa's been incredible in being this, you know, advocate for not just her own family, but for everybody. And she's also raised tons of money for Impact Melanoma and Shades of Hope. And, you know, the more you get the message out, the better, and that's something that Lisa's done a great job of in really promoting the organization and, you know, every year letting people know what Impact Melanoma is all about and the Shades of Hope Gala and you know what it means to be a part of it and why it matters. Having the privilege of working with Dr. Cohen and having her as a friend and a mentor, she really, she really does connect with everybody. Dr. Cohen is really passionate about education, whether it's medical professionals or college students or the programs of Impact Melanoma. She really has dedicated her life to creating awareness on the disease and how others can help prevent it. One person really can make a difference, and she's made a huge difference in many lives, including mine. I'm really just so happy for her. The melanoma community is so lucky to have her. I think Impact has been truly instrumental in um, spreading the word on sun protection, whether it's with the Your Skin Is In programs, with the sunscreen dispensers that are showing up all over the country now. I think that um, the educational awareness has been incredible. And with my knowledge about skin cancer and being a dermatologist, I think that um, it's important for me to make sure other people are aware. It has become personal. Uh, I would say that in the past it was kind of this um, calling that I felt I had because of my career. Um, but now as I'm meeting people and knowing people and having um, close friends who are impacted by the disease, uh, it's become even more dear to my heart.